today in this uh, video we will see like uh, how to calculate vb which means like a uh, base shear so seismic base shear how to calculate manually using the code book reference is1893 and the classes and also the tables and everything so with this values we can able to find a uh, vb easily so that i will tell you how to do for example first we need to find the vb so for that we need to use the formula so you can able to search in the is1893 where you will get the formula of for vb equal to ah into w and where ah equal to what and w equal to what everything they clearly specified so ah is something so horizontal acceleration spectrum so where we can able to refer in 6.4.2 class so when referring that so where ah equal to z into i into sa divided by 2 into r into g this we can able to get from class 6.4.2 from is1893 so from here i can able to get so this is like is1893 pdf that i downloaded from google so you can refer the same so this is what the formula i have input here so that formula we can able to change this to that formula we can also change like this so ah equal to z by 2 into sa by g divided by r by i so this is what i have input here and we are getting the values so for each and everything we can able to refer the classes for example z for zonal factor so if it is like a 3 uh, chennai comes under 3 zone so where we can able to put 0.16 and we can able to go for SA by G. So SA by G, how we need to find? So we can able to see for rock soil, medium soil, soft soil. For all this, we need to consider T value. So T, how to find? So T, we can able to go for another formula. So each and everything is interlinked with each. So we need to find each and every calculation and then we need to input here. For example, TA equal to 0 0.075 into H power 0 0.75. For RC building, the same 0 0.085 H power 0 0.75 for steel building. So this formula is something like without brick free infill. So, so like this we can able to refer the formula and where we can able to input. So I am considering only RC frame building. So I am uh, putting here 0 0.075 into H. H means height of the building and then to the power of 0 0.75. So now I am going to consider uh, length as 12, width as 9 and height as 9. So length of the building 12 meter, width 9 meter, height 9 meter. So he is going to divide into 3 base. So I am putting 9 here and then the, the base dimension of 12. So when you are inputting like that, you are getting TA equal to 0.39. So the same if you are inputting for the width also, you will get the same very mild difference so for both we are getting 0.39 only so anyway this is not going to deal with the any base dimension because it is only considering only h then no need to worry about this 12 or 9 so it is coming as 0.39 so we need to find i am going to consider this as medium soil where 0.39 coming under 0.1 this value so we need to consider 2.5 so i am putting 2.5 for sa by g and also r response reduction factor so that also we can able to refer so for smrf building it is like a 5 So you can able to put 5 and then the important factor. So for normal building 1, for importance building 1.5. So here we can able to see. So all other building 1, like hospitals, schools, then we need to put 1.5. So I am going to consider as a general building 1. So we are getting AH value as 4%. So now we can able to easily find the W value. VB equal to AH into W which is coming under 285.12. So this value we can able to refer with the stat probe.
So normally this manual calculation and also the stat pro calculation 100% accurate. So that we can able to do in stat pro as well. So before that how to find W? This is like seismic weight. So seismic weight how to find? We need to consider the dead load and also the live loads. So I am going to consider uh, dead load as uh, 12 kN for uh, floors and also 10 kN for roof. So I am considering length into width into load. So kN per meter square into meter square, meter square, meter square cancel. So kN, so 1296 kN for each and every floor. And also it is coming under 1080 kN for the roof. This is, so this is only for dead load. But for live load, we can consider 4 kN for floors and also something like uh, less than uh, that for roof. Anyway, here when we calculating live load, we need to consider only 50 percentage. So here we, we have that uh, with the reference of code book, we can able to see like how we are going to calculate the imposed load for live loads. See here it is. So where it is like uh, where it is like above 3 kN per meter square then we need to consider the percentage of imposed load as 50 percentage and for calculating the design seismic forces of any structure the imposed load on roof need not be considered so roof we need to consider as 0 that's why I am inputting here 0 0.5 for 50 percentage and 0 for roof load. So all together like we are getting 1512 for uh, like uh, floors and also for the roof 1080. So here we can able to put the W value. So in 2, 4 it should not be like that. So we have only 2. So totally we have uh, 3 base right. So in that we have two floors and one roof. So that's why I put two here and then this H9. So totally coming around 164.16 VB that we can able to correlate with our stat pro. So now what we analyzed manually we can able to do in stat pro as well where I can able to put new project. For example, I am naming seismic ST2 and then meter kilo newton next and I am directly going for an open structure wizard. So this is a method of structure creation. This is the easiest and fastest method. So where we can able to go for frame models and we can drag and drop the bay frame and we can able to consider length as 12 and height as 9 and width as 9. So where we can able to put only the number of base along the length so 3 and height 3 and then width 3. So if you want to change separately also you can click this uh, icon so where we can able to see like a 444 for length and then 333 for height it remains the same for width as well. So apply. So this we can able to input to your model using this option transfer model or file match model with stat pro model or you can go for edit add or paste model in stat pro. So totally three method and also fourth method when you are closing it will come. So now I am just going to try this method. So do you like to transfer a match into stat pro S? Yes. So it is like asking the coordinates 0, 0, 0, click OK. That's it, we got the structure. Now we can able to go for general and then uh, support as usual, create fixed support. And uh, we can just go to front view and select everything and then assign to selected node automatically coming yes. So you can cross verify it. Now immediately we need to go for property. So define a property. So where we can go for rectangle. So this is a small structure. I am going to consider 9 inches cross 9 inches cross section which means like 230 mm, 230 mm. So I am just going to assign to view. So after that I am just going for a load and definition. 
so we must define the seismic definitions first so clicking seismic definition click add and i'm just going for is1893 code 2002-2005 now we also have 2016 that is not available here maybe in the new version of stat pro it is available so you can refer that if you have 2016 also now i am choosing 2002 is1893 now you can able to click generate and after you can select the zones or city so for example i am just going to consider chennai right so you can select the chennai and it is coming zonal factor 0.16 automatically if you can't able to find the city that you are searching for here you can able to go for zone so where you can able to go for third zone so chennai coming under third zone so this where you can able to refer so you can able to refer in the map so seismic map you have that you are available with the code book see this is the seismic map where based on the color legend we can able to find so chennai coming under yellow zone which is like a zone 3 everything is simple just we need to refer the seismic uh, you need to refer the code book so again special rc moment resisting frame that we can choose if you want anything also you can able to choose from here and all general building it is like one and i'm just going to consider as a medium soil and rc frame building and damping ratio by default five percentage and generate so once you click generate all the values is coming in this platform now you need to add once you add it will be like this now for this exercise we are not going to consider self weight factor so leave as it is don't add we are directly going to add floor weights where we can able to go for 12 kilo newton so here when you are inputting the value you need to be careful so you can just take the note cursor you can just double click it 0 3 0 it is so x in 0 y 3 and 0 this is minimum so maximum it should be like here so x is 12 and y equal to 6 and z equal to 9 and we need to add this is for dead load so 12 kilo newton for only the floors and again with the same uh, platform no need to change anything only the load like i am just going to put a 4 into 0.5 right so we need to put a 2 so because imposed load we need to con consider only the half loads right so 2 kilo newton so for floors so add again for the roof 10 kN for dead load so from here so 0 9 0 so it is in the minimum uh, 9 0 and uh, here 12 9 9 so 12 so 9 9 add and no need to put minus here as it is like coming under pressure and now again uh, for a roof live load it is zero na? no need to worry about that we can close it so only these three values we need to put the only disadvantage we can't able to see the representation here so you need to be careful when you are inputting the values so immediately you need to go for load case details click add and then I am just going for a seismic and uh, in two direction we are going to consider one in x and another in y not y another in z as we have x and z as horizontal plane so always we need to consider the lateral forces only in x and z directions so where we can able to click slx and add and we can able to go for seismic loads x direction add flows again z click add so seismic load is the direction add the factor will be one so sometimes if it is like a big structure you can able to consider sl minus x sl minus z where we need to put minus one factor so now we are going to continue only with the these two values Okay, now immediately you need to go for analysis and print and you need to put all add 
Now our part completed. We need to analyze now. Run analysis, control F5 or you can click there. So it will show our results within a few seconds. See now we got zero error. It should be like this. One warning it could be like a something so it is not uh, important. So zero error. It should be like a zero error. We can go for view output file. This could be like a UBC IPC warning. Or it is like a telling a, a one way loads. So no need to worry about a warning. Uh, see warning UBC IPC that is not an issue and we are just going for result. See now we can able to control F and we can go for time period. So this is what we need. See time period we are getting VB base here 164.16 which is in the X direction and which is also similar to the Z direction. So Z direction also 164.16 both remains the same value. So can we see the Excel sheet? See manual calculation also coming the same. So manual calculation and stat pro calculation both are 100 percentage accurate. So 164.16 and here also we are getting 164.16. Now based on this uh, manual versus stat pro calculation you can able to assume how accurate stat pro will be. So that's why many of the structural engineers still following stat pro. So I hope this video could be much helpful for you to understand the manual versus uh, software calculation. So make use of it and share with your friends and family members. So keep watching more videos and have a great day. Bye bye. And don't forget to subscribe if you are like uh, thinking that my channel videos is something great or something useful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Okay.